In our previous video about piranha solution, we submerged all sorts of things from skittles to bananas. But today, as promised, it's our traditional chicken leg. So, Neil tackled the chicken leg. I bought him a whole kilo of chicken legs, but he just tried one. The amazing thing with the chicken leg in piranha solution is that the reaction went very much faster than in all the other acids we've tried. Previously, Brady's had to video for a whole 24 hours to get much effect, but this time the effect was much more rapid. Initially, Neil dangled the chicken leg into the piranha solution. Meat that was submerged dissolved quite quickly, again producing some carbon because meat is an organic compound, contains carbon, but not as much water as vegetable matter. It's getting, it's getting there. I think it's going to fizz. But gradually, Neil got a bit more impatient. So Neil gradually put more and more of the chicken leg into the acid, eventually cutting the wire so that most of it was submerged. The reaction became quite violent, more frothing, and the meat started falling off the bone, something we'd never seen before with other acids. And the bone itself started to dissolve. Piranha solution had behaved almost like a saw. It cut off everything that was submerged. So through the bone, you got a section. You could see the marrow inside. And even the marrow had gone black, presumably because of being attacked by the solution. Again, I don't think there was quite enough acid because if there'd been enough solution, the whole chicken leg would have disappeared, but it was pretty impressive. So I think there's some quite interesting questions. First of all, why does the piranha solution work? And I think it's due to this combination of having sulfuric acid that can dehydrate things, remove the elements of water, and then hydrogen peroxide that is very strongly oxidizing. And it becomes more oxidizing in strongly acidic conditions. So the high concentrations of H plus make it easier for it to attack things. That's why it can attack carbon. Professor, why does the sulfuric acid's removal of the water help the H plus do such an effective job? I think it does several things. First of all, the reaction with the acid heats everything up. And when you heat up a reaction, it goes faster. Secondly, it produces this finely divided carbon, which has a large surface area, so it can be attacked much better than if you had a solid lump. And the H plus can then have got the peroxide primed so that it's ready to attack. I think it is a good demonstration of how when you use a mixture of chemicals, you can have a bigger effect than using either of the chemicals individually. We've seen this with aqua regia dissolving gold, where a mixture of nitric acid and hydrochloric acid will dissolve gold, but the two acids individually won't. It may be that in the piranha solution, there is a small concentration of so-called caro's acid which is peroxy sulfuric acid, which itself is a very strong oxidizing agent, and that might add a bit of extra vomph to the reaction. So the final question, which we discussed with sulfuric acid, where murderers have dissolved bodies of their victims in sulfuric acid, is why they didn't use piranha solution and perhaps some have, but then it's not documented. And I think the reason is, first of all, it's quite hard to get hold of large quantities of hydrogen peroxide. And the other reason is you've seen 
from the ban banana experiment and others that it can be really messy and if you're quietly trying to dispose of your victim the last thing you want to do is to get them bubbling all over the floor of the room and you have such a mess of really corrosive material that you've got to clear up. <laughs>